to my channel, Mimi here. And first and foremost, let me wish everyone a happy new year. Um, it's so exciting though, it's 2020, geez. Anyway, yeah, so um, first and foremost, I do have several clips of me going to my mother's house. guys happy new year right now i'm on my way to my mother's house uh because she made a lot of pumpkin soup yeah we all have pumpkin soup and it's pretty much not only um it's not only about us having the pumpkin soup but also declaring or celebrating our independence to have some soup jumeau um as you already know i am of haitian descent and every Um, I guess generate first uh, a lot of Haitian if not all Haitians uh, celebrate the new year by enjoying a bowl of uh, pumpkin soup is what it is and I guess it will vary from person to person depending on what part of Haiti they are from um, some of them my mother's on she used um, plantain potatoes it's, it's a, a whole bunch of ground food and different vegetation food that goes into it but it is really really good they put beef they put pasta like and it's not like regular spaghetti pasta it's like i guess you want to call it like i don't know it is hella good so i'm gonna um insert some clips of what the soup jumu look like so that's what I did on New Year's Day, and of course, the day before, um, or a couple of days before, as long as you do it before uh, the first, um, you make sure, patient descent, you make sure that your house is clean, spotless, like spots that you never even cleaned before, or probably uh, neglected uh, throughout the months, or maybe throughout the year. Um, you will actually go and clean those spots so then when you it's pretty much like you set yourself up for success So that your house and everything else is clean going into the new year um, also uh, My parents well how I was raised also you go through your clothes like you make sure that The clothes that you have if it's damaged you get rid of it If it's you like you don't want to hold on to anything that was damaged anything um, uh, that was ripped or had holes or whatever the case may be. You don't want to hold on to none of that stuff. You just do a, a clean out of everything. You just clean everything out and send it out. So you go into the new year ready, pretty much. So that's what I've done. Um, after I had the soup, I just came home and relaxed because the very next day was work anyway. So, but then it's like, after after that you just hear of excuse my French of the fuckery that's already started now I'm not going to talk too long about this individual I'm not even going to say his name well I will say his name I don't know if any of my subscribers know this um, well I'm not going to say it well I'm going to put it in a title but I'm not going to say his name um, there's this particular YouTuber that, um, created a channel in, uh, um, AMBW community. Now, I like to watch various videos. I rarely watch any TV. So, if I'm watching, uh, uh YouTube with this person, like, I watch all type of content on this platform from cooking to um family uh channels to diy so i'm talking about i watch everything you know so i do also watch the am and bw uh community you know their channels and stuff like that and i stumbled across one and i thought you know he was very genuine he was talking about um what goes on in Korea and how he 
trying to enlighten people of uh, foreigners that comes in uh, to Korea, uh, specifically speaking about um, African Americans that goes into a career, whether it's for a job, touring, or whatever. He just wanted to be that voice or fill that void. I thought that was a, I thought that was commendable on his part, you know, because um, everybody know, you know, especially when you're not used to seeing other races um, where you live at. So a lot of people could be very standoffish, or they could just be confused or don't know what to make of it, you know. There was several videos leak, like that leaked in regards to this individual actually being a chameleon. I would say a chameleon because he was saying he was doing this and that for the community. And come to find it, there are proof and text messages that show other, you know, show him in, in his true light, showing him like saying oh my god just saying the most craziest thing and i'm really like which one are you he also had a video with him and his friends talking about um african americans and everything i heard in the video was like racial slur i mean i guess he tried to enlighten them but you know when your friends don't care to hear anything of what you got to say he had those friends and a lot of people say you you are the company that you keep you know if your friends feel that way not to say it may not be true, but they're very opinionated on how they felt about the situation. And although, yes, he tried to clarify it, but it, it looked like even for him to straighten the situation, it was a no-go. So, then when his true colors came out, I was like, okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. And there was an individual, a young lady... That was supposed to help him with his videos or pretend that they were a couple. I can understand why she did it, but then again, it was like, what's this? Anyway, so long story short, he went into like, what she said was he physically put his hands on her or was pushing her. Or was trying to ask her for some money, getting real physical. I'm like, bro, but you, you supposed to be for the people, by the people type of thing. And then this is what you're doing, you know. I'm sure there would have been other ways to handle that situation. So I was just taken aback by, by it all. And then the next thing I thought, I'm like, okay, first of all, we don't need, as an African American myself, I don't need validation from nobody. Period. You understand? I don't need somebody to, oh, you know, we accept you, we don't accept you. Like, if you do, you do. Good. If you don't, you don't. Good. It, it, it don't make me no never mind. And it was crazy because I felt like on one side of the scope, his channel was, well, even I was looking, but I wanted to see, okay, even I was looking at his content because I thought it was different, you know? Not to say I needed validation or anything, I just wanted to see it on the other side of the spectrum, you know, but as far as, oh, watch his comment to see what Asian people really think, who gives a who, you understand? Who gives a who? So, at the end of the day, the whole situation was ridiculous. So, I ended up unsubscribing. I don't believe in, regardless of how big the situation is or how you felt or uh, everything was going uh, how how you felt angry about the situation, you are to never, ever put your hands on nobody. So, I unsubscribed. That was kind of crazy. It was crazy. I was like, hey, I, you know, you, oh, I believe in you, dude, but this is, what, this is what happened. So, anyway, so that was that. Next, on a better note, I see something different. I didn't go and get contacts. Yes. It's irritating. You may see me squinting sometimes because I could feel them against my eyeballs. I'm not used to it yet. Um, but I think this will be a whole lot better instead of me 
wearing glasses and you see the glare. So yeah, so I want to do that ASAP. Um, yeah, how how's it been? Mm, annoying. Sometimes I forget that um, I don't have them on. And I, I squint. I'm like, what am I doing? I have, I have the contacts on. Or when the wind blows and the hair hit hit anywhere in between this area, it feels weird because normally I will have my glasses. I'll feel it probably on my forehead, on my cheek, but I'll never feel it against my eyes because my glasses are there. And mind you, I wear a wig, so then when I do come home, I pop it off and I put my satin cap or whatever. So nine times I said no hair really touched there. So yeah, I felt different. Um, what else? Oh, now I know, lastly, I know there's a lot of people making vision boards or whatever the case may be. I wanted to do one so bad. I want to do one so bad. Because a lot of people say it works. Or, um, but I don't know. Tell me if you or if there's anybody out there with the same situation like me. I'm the type of person, if I have something I'm planning, or if I have something I'm working on, I want to work on, or whatever, or I have a goal to strive to. If I tell a bunch of people, it would not happen. If depend, like I can tell one or two people, but I cannot like just keep talking about it or tell too many people, or it won't happen. This is the limbo I'm at now. I'm like, dang, should I do um, like a vision board or whatever, and then show everybody? But I can't be on a video like. This is my vision board. Like, I can't do that. I have to explain the vi uh, vision board, but if I do, that's me telling everybody. So then I was like, I'm afraid to do it because normally when I keep a lot of stuff to myself, like, keep a lot of stuff to myself until it actually happens and I talk about it, that's pretty much how it goes. I'm still in the limbo. I asked my husband what he thought about it. And he's like, nah. You know, when you tell too many people, I guess he's the same way too. So if he tells so many people something, everything just comes to a stop is a no-go. So I'm still like, I'm trying to find a clever way to speak about certain things, like say it without saying it. That's what, that's what I'm trying to do. So, yeah. What else? Um, for the new year. Like I'm really excited about it. You know, because you have so many ideas and you want to see them come to the forefront. However, I do work a lot. <laughs> I really do work a lot. So, well, my hours are like 45 hours a week. So, sometimes I'm tired or now that I have inventory and stuff like that, sometimes um, the video will come out slower. But, yeah, that's something I want to work on is being consistent and just working on my content in a whole so the quality could be a whole lot better. Um, other than that, my new year was amazing, really. I'm just excited um, for what I have going on now. I have a couple of things that I'm working on. And it's a secret until it come to pass and the knowledge y'all know. And I know that's annoying. I used to hate when YouTubers do that. Oh, I'm working on something, but I can't tell y'all that you gotta wait. If y'all be patient with me. Now I understand them. Like, if y'all be patient with me, you'll know soon enough. Um, what else? Yeah, so, I think that's pretty much it. As far as the new year, new day. I know this video is coming hella late, but it's better to arrive late than ever. So, um, yeah, let's start a conversation in the comments. Let me know what you did for New Year's. If there's any family tradition that you have or that you partake of um, for the new year. If you went partying, you went clubbing, or I know a lot of people, it's tradition for them to go to church. It's crazy, like, they don't go to church no other time, but the new year is a must. But it makes sense. You, a lot of people didn't pass this threshold with us from last year, so it makes sense to go to church and give thanks um, to God in those regards. However, um, yeah. Just uh, let's start a conversation in the comments. I appreciate y'all so much for watching my content. Um, oh, my next video is going to be on this makeup look. Because I did do it um, uh, before filming this video. 
So if you have any questions, anything you would like to know, let me know. Let's start a conversation in the comments. And that's it. I wish everybody a wonderful, happy new year, full of love, full of anything prosperous. You understand? So, and that's pretty much it. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>